Hi guys, welcome back. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you the uh, the new tropicals which I planted recently. And it's not that one. That was planted a long time ago. Um, six years ago in the ground. That's the Glen. So, pretty happy with the the new veggie bed look at that that's only that's only in like three weeks Le less than three weeks pretty good huh less than three weeks guys that's how quick vegetables grow in raised beds okay so um, the new trees are these the two mangoes I was uh, asking you guys about uh, in the previous video I should have filmed this an hour ago because now Ah, the sun is behind the fence, right? So you can't see them too well. An hour ago, the, the sun was facing them, but that's all right. You'll still be able to see them. So now we have three mangoes here. Hang on. We have three mangoes. That's the uh, Kensington Pride, which I planted last summer. Last summer was last December, December 22. And this week, we planted uh, these two new trees from Ross Creek. And as you can see, they're way, way smaller. I think the, uh, the Kensington Pride is three years old or four years old. Either three or four years old. So it's a, it's a big boy. And it's starting to um, flower. The flower buds have opened at the uh, at the end of October right this stayed in the ground all winter unprotected no protection at all no no frost cloth so it also depends on the tree guys Th there's a lot of variables right if you get a good tree or not it's not only the protection it's also luck with a tree so, going back to the new trees now. That's the new Valencia Pride. It's grafted and I put it into native soil, just like I did the Kensington Pride and all the other new trees I've planted for the last two years. I'm not using compost anymore or potting mix into the ground, um, uh, the planting holes. I'm not doing that anymore. I stopped doing that two years ago. And I've had excellent results. Here's the other uh, new mango. That's the early gold. Um, I think that one is... I can't remember if that one was grafted or a seedling. Ah, let's see. Yep, that's uh, grafted. Yep, that's grafted. So they're both grafted, I believe, if I'm not wrong. I could be wrong. Hang on. No, that's grafted. Okay, so I took off all the fruit. It had like eight fruit on it. I left one. I don't know why I left one, but I did. Right? It had eight fruit on there, eight fruitlets. And that also went into native soil. That's where the uh, super dwarf peach was, the sunset peach, right? I put that into a pot. And here is where I had the hibiscus. And sorry to say, the hibiscus went into mulch heaven. <laughs> yeah, I cut it up into a thousand pieces. So we're serious here, guys, about fruit trees, not, fla not flowers. Although flowers are pretty, right? I um, propagated these flowers and put them there from one bunch. I, I multiply them. That kind of flower, I don't mind. But when it starts taking over, Taking, taking the place of a fruit tree, then, 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 then we draw the line. Okay, so, Valencia Pride, I had to stake it um, because it was a little bent out of shape, as you can see, the, the top. See how it's bent? I guess I, it needs another stake on that side to pull it over that way, but I'll, let, I'll leave it for now. And in uh, three days, it's been in the ground. It's already growing uh, 
a new tip at the top. That there. That's new. That wasn't there when I unboxed it. That little tip. So guys, that's the story on the new mangoes from Ross Creek. This is the one from Vu, which I planted three weeks ago at the beginning of October. Right? And it's doing really well. It's lanky. It's, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, drooping. Of course it's going to droop. It's got the weight of all these fruitlets. See all those fruitlets? And also it just rained. We just got a uh, sun shower. So the, the leaves are a little wet. So it's looking really good. Very, very uh, lanky. So I had to tie it up real tight with um, pickets, metal pickets, like, right? So, and these are 2.4 meters. And the tree is still taller. The tree is over the picket. So we're talking very advanced tree and, and it was a bargain. I just wish he had more mangoes like that. So I don't have to, so I would not have to wait. Um, it's going to take a long time for this Valencia Pride and this early gold to get to that size. It's going to take at least three years. So Vu saved me three years. This is his tree too. He saved me three to four years. And that's a lot of time in a cooler climate. Now, you know, if you're in Queensland, again, it's different. Three or four years, you've got a fully mature tree. Okay, and there's my final mango. The uh, Bowen, which is also another custard apple. Uh, another Kensington Pride, sorry. Right? It's got that beautiful flush, which came in September. We had a, a warm flush in September. I thought it was going to be a, a, a knockout spring. But... There was a false alarm. It wasn't going to be um, a fantastic spring. It was another crap spring we had this year. Miserably cold spring, guys. Back to back with last year and this year. But oh well, we do the best we can, right? So with um, an average temperature of only 18 Celsius. 18. Um, in spring. Instead of... Um, 25 and 26 like they have up there in uh, Queensland big difference and the night time is even worse you don't want to know about the night time how's um, 8 Celsius average sound for the whole spring 8 pretty crap and because we had a low um, hang on because we had a, um, a cold a couple of really cold nights look the new, the new growth got um, uh, cold damage. That's cold damage. So yeah, one day it was 28 Celsius. And then the next day, the temperature dropped down to 4. This is 4, this is four Celsius damage. And the same here. Look. See that? 4 Celsius at night in October. I mean, it's not that bad. It's just those two leaves I showed you. Just those two. The rest are fine. And I took the um, the frost cloth, the frost cloth off last week, a week ago, mid mid October. So that's it, guys. This is um, waking up now. See all the new um, shoots coming here. All these new shoots are gonna be red flowers like those these little guys by uh, the end of November so in about a month from now the whole tree will be red a burgundy and that's it thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the update with um, how many do we have now four five six 
six mangoes, six mangoes in the ground that is, outdoors, not in the kitchen. A lot of people in Melbourne try to grow tropical fruit trees um, by protecting them in winter indoors in the house. Whatever works guys, people have to do what they have to do. But I don't do anything like that. Everything you see on my channel is grown outdoors, unprotected. Just like this Glen Mango in ground. It's taken a lot longer. Unlike uh, Elisa. Elisa bought her her mangoes fully fully established at five, six years old. Uh, and she saved five to six years. <laughs> Yeah, I had to wait 10 years for this tree to get to where it is. And she waited um, one year. All right, guys. Catch you from the next video. And over and out for now.